All right, so I uh, imported this uh, tree, this NIF. Um, so you'll still need that too. You'll need some sort of uh, NIF importer uh, for 3ds uh, Max 2014. <clears throat> So for the collision, open up your material editor, click on this here, standard, select this material, BS Lighting FX, hit OK. Now uh, with 2014, I get I get this warning, but I've already tested it out and it's it's fine. It apparently doesn't matter. So you may or may not get a warning, but don't worry about it. All right, so we draw, drag and drop that onto there. Now you want to clone it. Name this whatever the fuck you want, it doesn't matter. Hit OK. Click on this again. Make sure you have the original NIF highlighted. So that was P cube one for me, anyways. So with that selected, select all that there. Go up to Habit Content Tools, Physics. Create rigid body with proxies. Click on that. This will parent all shapes to pcube1. So whatever your original object name is, make sure that's what it says right there. Continue. Yes. <clears throat> Go over here. Like I said, there's a bunch of tutorials about this. For whatever reason, everybody put 60. I hear it doesn't matter. But I'm a follower, not a leader. So I'm going to put 60. So after you do that, click on that again. Check up here to make sure that the clone object appears. Shape type, mesh. Select all of that. Go to the hammer, more, collision group. OK. And this drop down will appear. Default materials, uh, so, and then pick whatever you want. This is a tree, so I'm going to go with wood. <laughs> then object type, static. Select static if it's truly going to be a static object. It's not going to fucking move. So with those two things still selected, apply to selected. Just click it one time, click off into nothing so that nothing's selected, and export. Let's just go whatever and select game by row, blah 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 blah. You probably have this available as well. That's not going to do what you need to do. Select that one there. Um, tree, whatever. Save it. All this should be good to go already. But if not, make sure that says PE static art. Um, I don't know, I've seen other shit where they select something else. I guess maybe that there, but... I don't know. I, I haven't touched shit. Whenever I open this screen up, I just hit OK. So, OK. And sometimes you may see a box up here that says blah, 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 blah. And find your little NIF. Yeah, tree whatever. You'll get warnings 
of the wazoo. It's blacked out, that's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I copied my NIF, I'm just going to drop it in the mesh folder. So now the last step, well that's not true, you still have to, because that thing's still fucked up, you still have to do all kinds of shit in NIF scope afterwards which I'm not going to go over, but this is the big, the big hurdle. Um, oh yeah, so Fallout 4 tools, Elric, launch that bitch, convert files, find your NIF, open it, and if everything's okay, uh, it will automatically process it, and you'll have green. If you get any other color, that means something went wrong. But this is green, so that means it's okay. And uh, you're ready to drop your object, or add your object uh, with the creation kit and put it in game. All right. Oh, uh, because I'm an idiot, I forgot. Well, um, once you uh, process it, it gets moved to this folder. Well, it actually doesn't get moved. A new, it copy, makes a new copy. Uh, so open up processed and find the process one. So it should be smaller than the original. And if you open it up in NIFScope, you should get no warnings.